Good morning and happy Sunday. Uh, we are starting the first week of spring for our Sunday school lessons, at least. We're going to be talking about Jesus entering Jerusalem. This is based off of Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. And just to sum it up, Jesus and his disciples were nearing Jerusalem. Jesus told two disciples to go to the nearby village and get a donkey colt that was tied up. The disciples brought back the donkey and Jesus rode it into Jerusalem. When he entered Jerusalem, uh, many people were so happy that they spread their cloaks on the road and waved palm branches. The people shouted words of blessing to Jesus. The Pharisees wanted the people to be quiet. And our Bible essay has been provided by Laura L. Brenneman today. Today's passage is a gateway. It's a transition into the last major phase of Jesus's career, his ministry in Jerusalem. This story also begins Jesus's teaching in the temple, in which Jesus claims authority for himself over the temple officials and heads into a collision course with his opponents. By the time the gathered people declare Hosanna, which means save us now or save now, the impression is that Jesus is entering Jerusalem as a king. Jesus's entry is more subdued here than in the other gospels, but Mark's insertion of the words, blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David, conveys a strong sense that this is a king's ride into the capital city. Yet it's a strange, triumphant entry. In Mark, this is Jesus' first trip to Jerusalem and the first mention of the temple. From this point on, however, everything will be temple-centered. As in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, Jesus goes directly to the temple after riding into Jerusalem. In the other two Gospels, Jesus proceeds to immediately cleanse or clean the temple. By contrast, in Mark, it is already late, and we get the impression that the city and the temple are already clearing out. Jesus and his disciples go to the temple, but leave the city shortly afterwards, retracing their steps to Bethany. If a person reads Mark's account with Matthew and Luke in mind, this entry into the temple seems very anticlimactic. So why did Jesus go there at all? Jesus goes to the temple to look around at everything. In his commentary on Mark, Timothy Geddard suggests that Jesus comes to take in stock of the situation, to observe everything, to look into the heart of the matter and prepare. This will, after all, be a scene of major controversy the following day when Jesus drives the vendors and the money changers from the temple and invokes Jeremiah's denunciation of the temple ruling class. Here, Jesus simply looks around and prepares. His entry into Jerusalem isn't so much the processional of a triumphant king as it is preparation for the purification of the temple. The crowds chant the beginning of Psalm 118.26, which reads, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. When Jesus enters Jerusalem, however, None of the temple officials are there to bless Jesus' entry into the temple with the second half of the verse. We bless you in the name of the house of the Lord. Confrontation is coming on the official's home turf. So what I want you to do with this passage is imagine that you are part of the people in that crowd shouting Hosanna or save us as Jesus passes by. What do you think you would notice that's different about Jesus that people wouldn't expect to see in a king. Think about if there was this kind of parade for Jesus today, where do you think this would take place? What would it look like? Jesus goes to the temple to look around and prepare, which is a bit of a pause in our gospel story. Why might a pause in your activity be good for you this week and what might it mean for you 
Consider ways to make time for taking stock of things in your home, your family, and your spiritual life. If you could please join me in prayer. Jesus, help me honor you, not just when it's popular or others are doing it, but every day. Let me show love to you from the deep desires of my heart. Amen. All right, and that's it for this Sunday's Bible lesson. Have a good day.